The information flow is an often underestimated relationship. The information flow can be created between any elements to describe that information flows from one model element to another model element. This relationship type is usually used for diagrams describing exchange of information between system entities at high abstraction levels where there is no technical description required but rather the information that flows is important. The information flow is not a simple relationship and can be tricky for some users. In this tutorial I show you how model elements can be selected as information and the information flow itself can then be assigned to another relationship. Let's go through the process step by step. First, let me create a new package and there I will create a class diagram. Okay, to confirm it. Let's open that. And let me create two classes, class one and class two. And finally, let me use the quick linker to create a relationship type information flow between those two newly created classes. Now the dialog information item conveyed appears with which you can use the button add to select one or more model elements from the project browser, which are displayed as text on the information flow. A new model element can also be created via the selection dialog. The name of the class will be customer data. Let me save the new element. Okay, okay. And as I said earlier, the information item being conveyed, in our case represented by the class customer data, is now visible above the information flow relationship. And here comes a tip for you. In order to make even better use of this relationship type, let me create another association type relationship between the two classes and give the relationship name HTTP to express that it is an HTTP connection. I select the association with the name HTTP and select Advanced Information Flow Realized from the context menu. The dialog lists all information flow relationships between the two classes. A new information flow can also be created with this dialog. After clicking on OK, a filled arrowhead is displayed on the association in the direction of the information flow. What did I actually create? With the information flow alone, I have expressed that information flows between the two classes. The selected class Customer Data defines the information that flows between the classes. With the association HTTP, I have expressed that there can be an HTTP connection between the classes. To save space and to express that the customer data is transmitted via the HTTP connection, I have bound the information flow to the association. In addition to the pure information that customer data flows, I've also gained the opportunity to trace. To find the customer data in the browser, I select the information flow or the association relationship. In the context menu, I now find the menu item Find Items Conveyed. Clicking on this entry selects the information object, the customer data class in the browser. If several information objects are linked to the information flow, a list of these information objects appears. After selecting an entry, the corresponding model element is also displayed in a browser. This and many other exercises can be found in our book Compendium of Enterprise Architect. This paperback serves as the documentation and guide for UML with Enterprise Architect training, but is also excellent for self-study, delivery within Europe and worldwide. Did you like our tutorial? Please let us know in the comment section below. 
And please, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your colleagues. Click one of these to watch more. Thank you for watching.